Blaine, Paul here. I've got our favoriteest bike up on the lift. You're gonna fucking love this. <laughs> You're gonna fucking love this. Okay, so I get the bike here. Um, I charge the battery, comes up perfect. I'm like, okay, no problem. And um, so I try to start it, right? So first thing you do is you go in there, up top inside there, and you push, you turn the key to the on position, right? Then you go to the kill switch, and when you hit this button, you should hear something effective, like, like that's the fuel pump priming, right? So here we go. Nothing happens, right? I'm like, oh, well, that's weird. Sorry about all the mess. So I pop the fuse box, right? And I go through all the fuses. Everything's good. It's like, well, that's fucking weird. So I confirm voltage on the battery. Voltage on the battery is good. I'm like, Okay, that's good too. So I head over to the fuel pump, or to the, yeah, to the fuel tank, actual fuel tank. Put the bike up here a little bit. And uh, there's the one plug there. I pull it off and I get, and I check it and I get no voltage, no signal either. I was like, okay, well that's fucking weird. Huh. So I dingle the, uh, the kill switch up there uh, like, and, and you hear this noise. I'll, I'll put the phone here so you can hear it. But this is me basically rocking the switch back and forth. Okay, this is what you hear. You hear that? Okay, so I'm like, well, that's weird. I guess it must be the fuel pump sender relay. So I take off all this shit, right? To get to this to the relay, and this is I'm gonna I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna hit that switch. What? Okay, so I'm just gonna rock it back and forth. Listen right here. Like, oh, isn't that weird? So I pull this fucking dusty fucker out. Listen to this. <laughs> okay, so I pull the fucker off. There it is. <laughs> And of course, it's factory sealed, right? Like you can't, uh, you can't get in there, but you fucking best believe we're going in there right now. Okay. And pull this thing apart. God damn, they really... And you are not the father. <laughs> Look at that, sons of bitch. It jumped right off of there. How, where did this even go? Oh, I see, it went, first of all, it had an internal hemorrhage. Look at that, big fucking puffy wobble doodle on there so that exploded and uh, I guess by if you check the legs it went over here on the board so it probably went like that right in there and then kablammo and then dingle 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 isn't that interesting that uh, it blew up on him after we had fucked with it you know I, I didn't I didn't uh, there's no Look at this. <laughs> You're gonna love this. I've got one that is very, very similar to the one that fucked up. More importantly, it is so closely related that you would swear that it's gonna work. You know what? Let's plug it in and find out. Okay, key is in the off position. Here is my replacement plug. It goes right there. So we're just gonna snap this little bitch in here like it was made for it. I'm gonna reach up and turn the key now. And we wanna listen for the fuel pump. This is sound, ready? Nothing. God damn it. Yep, that one's not working at all. Like there's not even a click click from this one. All right, so we got to go back and get the original. We got to go to the Yamaha and get one of these fucking things. This is probably, don't we need to pull that one off, do I? I think 
because this is the one that we need. Sons of bitches. And you know, I gotta say, that's just, it's something that I inherently hate about being a mechanic is, you know, the, the car, the bike, whatever, it comes into the shop and you work on the front of it, for example. And everything that you worked on, everything that you touched, everything that you messed with is done well because, well, we're experienced and we know what we're doing and we know how to fix stuff. Customer comes and gets the car, the bike, whatever it is, and they drive it out of there. And then something off the back falls off. It's your fault, right? Like you're the last one to fondle it. So you know it's your fault. Even though you didn't even touch the back. I mean, of course... You did, because in order for the front to get into the shop, the back has to follow. But there's still just that annoying nature of, you're the last one to touch it. You broke it. Me.